Hey y'all, so today is Tuesday. It is currently 7.30 in the morning. I have this little mount thing in my car now. The angle is kind of weird because you can see me like in this little area, but then you have like all this free space over here. Um, so I'm gonna have to fix it later, but it is 7.30. I am heading to Human Anatomy. I didn't film like me doing my makeup reading this morning because I was dead ass tired. I am exhausted. I started volunteering at the hospital. My human anatomy teacher requires six hours of volunteering as like a service learning project. And I wanted to volunteer anyways, just to kind of get an idea like of a hospital basically. Basically get an idea of a hospital as if I wasn't in surgery. Cause that's like the only time you're ever really in a hospital. If you're in surgery, you don't feel good. And, um, it's really cool. I worked my first day in pre-op, which was really fun. You know, I got to do a lot of stuff there. And then yesterday, um, the volunteer coordinator actually came and got me and took me up to the NICU, which I was so excited about because I want to be a neonatal nurse practitioner. That is my end goal out of all of this, all of the stressful crap. <laughs> um, that's my end goal. So when he said that the NICU wanted me, I was like, oh yes, let's go now. And it was just, it's so sweet hearing like the little baby cries. It's just, it makes my heart so warm and like the nurses were feeding them. Of course, I can't do anything now, obviously, because I'm not like qualified to do any of that yet but it was just honestly so sweet and I just I just love being in that atmosphere I like pre-op don't get me wrong it's just a little slow for me um you know you're just prepping patients for surgery keeping signs of their vitals and everything and it's just I don't know it's just kind of like boring me I need like stuff I need like stuff to do um trauma um babies always keep on your toes that's what I like so I got to experience that and I think that's what really tired me out was for four hours yesterday and then I had my microbiology class also from 9 30 to 11 on top of that so I was really tired um and today I have a and p until 10 40 and then after that I will be steadily studying <laughs> I will be studying in the human anatomy lab with the models because we are doing muscles this week and well not this week we're doing muscles for the next three weeks and it's a pain in my butt it is a huge pain in my butt there's so many muscles in the body and it was real easy when we had to learn the bones because the bones are just the names of the bones and where they're located but these are the names of the muscles and also the functions like we have to know like the muscle that uh, makes us smile or closes our jaw or maybe moves our scapula inward and outward like it's a lot so I'm gonna start studying for that today I've been studying a little bit making my like um, study notes but I need to go back in with the models today. And then I have a dermatologist appointment at 2. I need to go up to because I have these weird bumps right here on my chest. And I don't know what they're from. Like, I don't, I don't know if they're like some type of acne or what. But it's bothering me very badly. And I need to go to Ulta after that. Because the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer is 50% off right now. And I'm like halfway through mine. So I figured... Now would be a good time to get another one because it's only $14 and that way I don't have to pay like the, you know, what is it, 20 something. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. See if they have anything else interesting at Ulta, which I'm going to try to restrain myself. I really need to buy the Sugar Glow Kit. I just can't find it. My old type normally go-to is out of it. So I'm going to have to go or call a different Ulta and then I need to go to HB because more than likely she's going to prescribe me something so I'll have to pick that up and I need to get some more clothes hangers from HEB and some more of this freaking delicious Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee that I need like six bottles of and in my last vlog I said I wasn't going to buy six bottles but I'm buying six bottles it's so freaking good like today just justified it I was so tired and as soon as I took that first sip I was like thank you Jesus I am happy this is on planet earth so I'm just going to drive to class right now. Having this little mount honestly makes my life so much easier. But I can just talk and look. So it's a lot easier. Um, I wasn't going to vlog today to be completely honest because I was tired. And um, I don't know. My last vlog was really long and I just put it up. So I may 
put this one up like on Thursday or something. Just kind of depends when I get some free time. Yeah, I will more than likely do a maybe like a little check in, but like you'll see like the models and stuff in A and P. But I won't do another check in until I'm leaving school to head to my dermatologist appointment. Yeah, that's how it, I was. I ran out of ink that's the first time. Down. Okay, so it was a lot later, and you can see that giant pimple I have on my chin. That's just lovely. It is currently 2.25. I just left my dermatologist appointment. I cannot stop staring at that thing. Um, I'm heading to H-E-B right now because I need to pick up the prescription that she um, sent over for me. And then I got to get a few, like, little, like food items for the house and then I think I'm gonna go to Ulta before I go to H-E-B just because they're having their naked concealer today like I said earlier 50% off so I think I'm gonna get one and hopefully they still have my shade at least and that's about it um, after class y'all saw like a little anatomy clip of me messing with the models because I was we're studying the muscles currently right now so um, those were the muscle models just different models we have to know and yeah that's pretty much it i had lunch with one of my um one of my friends from class and we went to target and i'll show you what i got when i get home so target has in their dollar section like these um what are they called like they're dollar spot socks they're probably not called dollar spot socks but it sounds cute and um they had halloween ones you know and i couldn't find the halloween ones i got some easter ones this past like easter you know a couple months ago and i went to this one target that apparently nobody goes to and i found the socks the dollar socks except they're the christmas ones and i'm like oh my god okay so i bought of course like one of every design except like two designs i just didn't really like so i have to show you those when i get home i got five different pair for a dollar and they're freaking adorable so i'll show you those when i get home hopefully y'all can find them because i absolutely love the dollar section dollar the dollar section dollar socks I love them so freaking much. They're adorable. And yeah, it's currently what I'm doing. My teacher decided to freaking pull a curveball on us. It was kind of like a class voted curveball. Um, the next week, the next, well, the week after next, I would have had three tests all on the same week. Tuesday and Thursday would have been my human anatomy lecture exam. And then Thursday would have been my human anatomy muscle practical exam. And then Wednesday is my microbiology lecture exam, my third one, which is supposed to be the hardest one, like I did say. Well, today, since we finished all the material needed for our human anatomy lecture 2 exam she's like do y'all just want to have it next week and I'm like you mean next week like next Tuesday like Halloween like a week from today she's like yeah and I'm like huh <laughs> I'm not prepared I haven't even started the review yet like are you kidding me but I did vote for it just because it alleviates one test from that week of crap of, that I have to do meaning I already have a micro exam and my practical that week so it alleviates one test so I get a little breather room I get a little more time to study for those two things so I do like that it's just this whole week and the weekend I'm now going to have to focus it's my blinker I'm sorry <laughs> I'm now going to have to focus on this AP lecture exam making the review making the cheat sheet because we are allowed to use one it just obviously is you know a small little box we could put whatever in and that's basically it so now i get to do that all freaking week so i need to do that today so that's what i'm doing when i get home probably more than likely and i need to finish a lot of my human anatomy flashcards because i have yet to do that we have to finish that actually so that's what i will be doing but we are pulling into ulta right now so i'm going to go in and hopefully if i can park i'm going to go in and get this concealer and if they don't have any i'm gonna be very very unhappy
Okay, so I'm finally home and this freaking desk in front of me looks like a disaster because in the mornings I just throw stuff on it and get dressed as fast as I can. Um, the only thing I got from Ulta, like I said, was the Urban Decay Concealer because it was on sale for $14. I went up a shade. I normally am, what am I normally this in? I normally got white warm, but I got fair neutral this time because my, my skin tone is real neutral. So I got that. And I got some like medicine when I went to my dermatologist appointment. She prescribed me some like acne medicine because I get like acne right here on my back and like right here on my hairline, which is disgusting. I know it's very gross. Um, but like my acne wash I use helps. I just needed something else to really help. So I got her to prescribe that stuff. Um, and then from HEB, what am I dropping? Oh, it's a makeup brush. And then from HEB, um, y'all saw like a little clips of the doggy aisle. I ended up getting these for, um, my little dog Paisley. They're the Dog Treat Smokehouse Turkey Breast, made in the USA. And one thing I really liked about these, honestly, the ingredients are turkey and a vitamin E supplement, which is great because there's no, um, grain wheat soy additives there's nothing really funky in here that i don't know or that could obviously harm her in the long run or just it's not good for a period and um you can actually make this make these at home i've made them at home for her before it's literally dried turkey breast in the oven on my broil um so these are great i think they were only like four dollars and then I got these two things. Um, this is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Multi Action Makeup Primer. It smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, and protects. And this looked really nice in my hand in store. My skin's a little more oily nowadays, so I wanted to try something like this. And then I got a new shade of the Wet n Wild Foundation because the current shade I have is like a freaking snowman on me right now. I have Nude Ivory right now, and then I just got the shade Soft Beige. The one above Soft Beige is too dark for me. Um, I think this one will be good, and I can always mix in this one. So I think these are going to be my new new matches. I'll probably use it tomorrow morning, and um, obviously I'll vlog a little bit tomorrow also. So you'll be able to see. So I got those two new ones. I've been needing a new shade for I don't know how long in that like months and every time I'd go to H-E-B or Walmart or anything I can never remember the shade I have at home so I would never buy it and then I got those um, dollar socks at Target I told you about and I'm so excited like I said I could never find these because the targets around me are always sold out so I actually got them ahead because it's not Christmas yet but I wish it was Christmas but it's not I couldn't find the Halloween ones but I did find the cute Christmas ones so I got these these are all adult socks um one pair for a dollar these are cute little Christmas trees which melt my heart these look like candy cane stripes and they're pink and red and again just I love Christmas it's the obsession with Christmas for me is really a real thing and then I love these. It says Naughty is the new Nice. And it's got like these little like diamond shapes going down the foot. These are really cute if you have like a tacky Christmas party or tacky sweater party. And then I love these with the little reindeer. These are gray. So I could probably definitely wear these to class with some like black leggings. And then lastly are these little snowmen, which are so cute because I love the teal. They had like two other pairs that just didn't really interest me that much, so I didn't want them. But I mean, all those for $5 you can't beat, especially because they're a little more taller, so they go up ankle and they're real comfortable and cute. They're perfect to wear with like boots, like riding boots um, around the house to school, which is what I do. <laughs> so that's everything I did get that's worth a while. And now I'm going to get in some comfy clothes, put all this up and probably start some homework because I have to finish the review for next week. Good morning guys. So I feel like a zombie this morning. I didn't even end um, the vlog yesterday. I didn't really do much. You know, I just finished up a lot of notes until like, I think it was like 7.30 I did notes till and then I just went to bed. I was real tired. Um, I'm still so tired. But um, it is Wednesday. I have microbiology today until about like maybe two to three. Just kind of depends what we do in the lab. And um, I am currently going to get ready. That's really that's the only thing I have to do today and then come home and do more notes. But I am going to do my, um, use my new foundation today. Just mix it new color because I haven't used it in so long because it didn't match me. So I'm gonna do that and do my makeup. And yeah, I'll check it with y'all after and show y'all kind of like my outfit and everything.
warning to others, this is why I don't really switch up my routine because things like this happen and it just irritates me. Now I have some dry skin right there. I use a Makeup Forever uh, translucent powder to like, I don't really bake, but just to set my under eyes with it. I do get a little oily throughout the day and it won't come off. <laughs> like I just see these little white patches everywhere. So I'm like rubbing my face with the brush, trying to get the powder off. I normally use like Fit Me or Airspun or something to do this and it doesn't do this. So note to, note to self, just set your face using Makeup Revolution. I mean Makeup Revolution. Makeup Forever powder using a brush. Do not bake with it because this is a pain. I'm trying to make sure I get it all off that way I don't have any like white dots on my face. Okay, so just got dressed. Uh, this is what I'm wearing. It's that sweater, sweatshirt thing. I showed in my Instagram story like last weekend. It's from Old Navy, American Eagle jeans, and then my new black Target boot I showed in the like latest vlog. I am packing my lunch right now, just trying to decide what to bring. Um, I can show y'all. I'm gonna pack a little thing of like Cheez-Its. And then I have like H-E-B has these like salads, the Cobb salad, um, it's real easy. That's why I pack them all the time. And these are like mandarin oranges and coconut water. And no, I'm not ever like, I guess you could say this is healthy, but I'm never this healthy. I'd much rather eat Bill Miller's fried chicken, but I don't have enough time to actually like leave and go get anything. So this is what I'm taking right now. So I'm gonna head out the door because I am running late. It's about 8.50, class starts 9.25. So um, yeah, I may do a check when I get to class or I just may check in after I get completely done, but I will see you guys later. Okay, so I am leaving microbiology currently. It is 1.52, so almost two o'clock. I'm so tired and it's freaking hot outside. It is 76 degrees outside. I'm in a sweater, boots, and jeans. And I'm like sweating. It's like that time of the year where it's cold in the morning, so it's like, oh, I can dress fall and cute, and then it gets to the evening and, or like later in the day, and you're dying because you wore a freaking sweater. So I don't like this time of the year because I wish it was cold. But I am heading home now. Uh, microbiology was actually pretty cold today. Um, if you're in micro, then your school, I don't know if you're, I don't know if every teacher or professor does it, but it's called the Unknowns Project. And you are um, supposed to, I guess, classify your unknown bacteria that she gives you. You basically have to figure out their morphology, their arrangement. You have to run a bunch of tests on them. And that's what we did today. We ran tests on our unknown um, bras that we had last week. I feel like my phone's about to fall down. Okay, there we go. Um, we ran tests on the broth and stuff that we had last week. So we ran a bunch, bunch of tests today. We did like a nitrogen sulfate test or nitrogen test a hyd hydrogen sulfite test um and we did that so now what we are going to have to do is next week if those tests worked which it would be amazing if they worked because that means we'd be done and we would know what organism or bacteria that we have in our broth we would be done with our project which would be great but if not we have to run more tests next week and yeah we basically just ran tests all day today which is kind of cool um so i currently am going to go home and do some flashcards for human anatomy and do some um, of my microbiology review for the exam in two weeks and then I have to do my human anatomy review which is next week and yeah that's pretty much it nothing exciting I'm probably gonna end the vlog here um my boyfriend may come over later so yeah we're just gonna kind of hang out and do whatever but 
yeah that's pretty much what i'm at right now so my next like week this week and next week will basically just be consisted of studying for these next exams i have my muscle practical which i'm like 20% prepared for now. I know muscles of like the head and everything, but I don't know the muscles of like the arms or legs yet. I'm not very confident in that, but I basically just have to keep studying that and just kind of go from there. This is such a weird angle. This car mount I have is very strange, so I think I need to get a different one. It doesn't hold my phone right since I have a pop socket, but yeah, I'm gonna do that and probably eat something and now my phone's shaking because I'm on a bumpy road. <laughs> And that's pretty much going to be it for my day. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this little two-day vlog. I know yesterday was a little more exciting because I did stuff. But today, it's already two. There's really nothing I have to do besides just homework. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. Um, I will try to do another one that maybe this weekend or next week. Kind of just depends because I am going to be really busy. And, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy my vlogs. And I will see you guys in my next beauty video, which will be Friday. And, yeah. Bye, guys.